Hello everyone, I'm Callum. Hey, I'm James. And today we're doing some hobby. We are, we're doing hobby. I've got my painting trousers on already, Callum. But James, you don't need to paint them because they're pre-painted. Uh, shall I take my trousers off then? I have already. What the f So spinning now, we've got some that we've built already. We've got World War II normally large brick shed, and we've also got wall with gate high. So these really were our, our practice session, yeah. right? They were our warm up. There are some quirks to these kits because of the pre-painted nature that you, you don't necessarily get with other MDF yeah. kits. Um, they're made by MicroArt Studio, who've been around for a long time now, as their logo says, since 2005. They started out doing bases and things like that, I think, but these are quite new. I, yes, they are. And they're really quite funky, so we, we thought we'd have a, a friendly competition. I, loose on the friendly. I, I'm going to be friendly, okay. um, and we'll, we'll see how quickly we can build the, these. You're going to have a go at that one, and you're also going to build the cafe. I am. And I'm going to take on what is probably the, the biggest of the kits, which is the restaurant. And if I get time, I'll maybe have a go at the townhouse as well. That sounds like a challenge. Cool, so we'll, we'll flip about with our camera set up a bit, we'll get going and we'll do like some sort of time lapse or something of our build process and point out any interesting bits along the way. May the best painter slash builder win. It's very competitive. Well, 18 minutes in and I'm all peeled. How did you find that, James? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna show this bundle. Oh, I'll show mine. Um, you'll notice Callum has some small sheets. But look how big they are. Look at all these tiny little bits. Each of these individual bits had to come off as a brick. All of these. So I think there's a slight discrepancy in the detail level. I think these are excuses. I will say this, <laughs> the printing is really good. It's fantastic. I've really enjoyed all the, the text and stuff on here. Yeah. Um, also, the printing actually goes over past the pieces, which means you could potentially chop these up and use them as rubble you if you decide to bits. base them or something. You notice there's a bit of a texture to the paint as well. Yes. So first of all, they are incredibly gloss, we noticed. Yes, didn't we? There's very a, shiny. You'll probably see it on the camera. But there's also a slight texture, a slight dimpled texture to all of it. So for a lot of the painted work, it gives it a much, it's like you can feel it running your finger. Yeah, it. that'll be nice. interesting if we decide to take these further. I think so. Some uh, weathering pigments or something would really catch in some of these grooves. Yeah, the other thing worth pointing out, which you've encountered, I haven't yet, was the little white spots that you found yes, on some pieces. Yes, I'll try and find a quick example, because I had a few. I've got one here, which is quite, normally they say it's in the corners, but I've actually got it more central there. Uh, it's basically as you're peeling off, some of the paint will take with it. It happens yeah. very rarely. They do put a disclaimer. They've, you know, they've made every effort to make sure it doesn't happen, but it does occasionally. I've not got it on any of my bits yet. I've got some intentional texturing on them, but it's none of It's very the minor, and it doesn't happen very often. I don't think it takes away from the painted nature of it. Well, I suppose it's time that I get back to peeling more, and you are onto the build. I'm going to start building. You're going to use some special glue, though, for your building. I am. I think this is going to give me the edge. I've got some laser, ki laser cut kit glue. Okay, and I'm just going to use super glue once glue. I eventually get around to it. I always use super glue. While I've got you, Joe, uh, I was sabotaged on my laser cut glue. I believe there's another n nozzle that looks a bit like this on the desk over there. If you could, as fast as you can, sprint so I don't fall behind, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh no, now everyone's gonna see my messy desk. Where is it? I, I think it's in the back, so in the shelving thing, in the, the plexi, do you, need, do you need to bring the other one back for reference? <laughs> do you want to take it with you? That sounds good. It's in It's in like a plastic. This is, this is good. This is getting me valuable this, time back. I've almost caught up. I'm glad this is all on camera. Hey! <laughs> 
Well, while, uh, while Callum's frantically fixing his glue, I'm going to be using super glue for this. So I've got three different kinds. I've got the thin grade, which I would normally use on MDF kits to just feed in and like drizzle around once I've done a, a dry fit. But I can't really use that with this because it'll make a mess of the stuff. So I'm probably going to use a mix of medium and thick. And I've actually just about caught up with Callum. I'm almost peeled. Mm. So I shall soon be building too. So exciting times. Thank you for that, Joe. You're, you're welcome. A, you're a hero. Not all heroes wear capes, Callum. But Joe is actually wearing a cape. He is. He insists. Swoosh. To the Joe cave. All right, I've peeled. I'm done. I'm clearing my workspace. I'm going to be gluing soon too. I'm just going to throw this on the floor because <laughs> I'm terrible. It's, it seems to be a bit hydrophobic, this. It might be the actual material of the MDF might have some treatment to it. I think it's the edges particularly where the MDF is sealed. Oh, I'll leave it now. All right. I'm not very good at this. Gluing HDF, use PVA white glue or thick CA super glue and a CA activator spray. I'm not going to use an activator because I often find that when you use an activator, it makes the super glue dry a little more brittle. And that's not what I want for terrain that I'm going to have myself and fat fingered colleagues moving figures around. I hope you're not talking about me. Not talk no, I'm definitely not talking about Joe at all either. <laughs> okay, so I'm on to my bit. And first of all, I've got to build like a ruined base, which is really cool, because that will then go inside of the main train, I think, which will make optional builds. So now I need to work out what parts go where. No numbers to match up with the frames. So that's gonna make things a little tricky. Especially if some of the images are the wrong way around. Uh, yeah, we. We'll be all right, we'll get it done. I have faith. So one thing I'm noticing with this is it's not drying very quickly. Now, I don't know whether it's to do with the coating or whether it's just the glue itself. I wonder if it's a more PVA-like substance, so it's... If you need to flip to super glue, you can do, Callum. Oh, I'm committed. Okay, he's committed, he's committed to failure. So I think we're at the 40 minute mark now, roughly. Yeah, just about. Just I about. Think. I've glued down my ruined base. I've also popped over, I popped out even some of the window frames, which I carefully did with a, a very handy technique. Whoops, I was just gonna show this. I've, it's all falling out now, but I've dry fitted my base. I kind of got caught up because a lot of the other sheets were, were massive pieces. Um, I think you also might have caught up because my glue, for some reason, didn't want to. Someone sabotaged it. I can't someone imagine who that might have been. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're getting on. Um, it feels like it's taken a while because of that peeling, but at the same time, some really nice details on I these I think bits. your initial prep, it's a, it's a lot longer than you expect than is traditional, I think, with perhaps a yes. build like this, but you'll save it at the end, I think, with time. Well, you'd normally see that immediate progress, right? You get to stage one of your instructions yeah. and you would build something with an MDF kit. Whereas with this, we've spent a good 20 plus minutes just peeling stuff mm. off these boards. But now we're getting our rewards. I think it's looking very satisfying already as well. I'm really quite impressed with yes. the ruined bases, the and concepts. It, and it's a ruined base that we think is then going to become the interior to the building which covers it, yep. which makes it multi-purpose in games, which could be awesome, especially for campaigns or something. You could yep. play you the same battle pre and post bombardment. Yeah, you revisit the area. Yeah, so Callum's also moved on to super glue because the fancy glue wasn't adhering dead well to it the material. It's more a bit like PVA, so I think it's a longer drying time. And for some of the corners, you kind of need them because they may flop outwards slightly. You need them to knit yeah. together and have a tight 90 degree angle for it to the house to slide and fit on top yeah. of it. So we're just, because we're both using super glue, which they do recommend you can use in the instructions, we're just gonna have to watch out for fogging. Yes, we'll just be careful. I've, you'll see uh, in my footage, I do wipe. If I get a little bit too much, I'll go in with a bit of corner of paper. Just and if you're using excess. super glue, that can leave a mark, a residue at the end. Yeah. So something to be careful about. All right, but back to it, yeah? yeah back to it. Yeah, so that way. Did you decide the dusty bit was your interior or the... Uh... I did dusty bit exterior. Really? I feel like dusty bit should be interior. I think if even if it blew up on the inside, the outside would still be worse. No, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going the other way. 
You think? Yeah. I actually haven't just settled you, yet. You, it's your choice, you know, it's your thing. Um, I, th I think I've got a bit of an issue here with the scraping bit, so I'm actually going to oh. put that on the inside anyway, which is, right. so that, I think that decides what's dusty and what isn't. So that goes something like that. That's quite nice. It does. The front of mine, a bit so less I'm, depth. Oh. I'm currently pondering these. Um, the big question here is what glue to use. And obviously super glue will fog it, so I'll probably have to use PVA for this. Do you want to try this? I might I might try the laser cut kit glue. It is hydrophobic, quite hydrophobic though, so be careful it doesn't okay. it'll bead for it, sure. I mean it's meant to dry very clear, so hopefully this will work. And I will say I can't see it where I did overlap. It is supposed to dry plas uh, dry on plastic as well. I can't actually see any really shine where it's been either, which is quite nice. All right, let's see. Uh, Compared to say the super glue. Can you see any shine? Let me know how it goes on. Wonderful. Now that's a good idea because I was going to start sticking it to the plastic like a nincompoop. Quite dirty. Um, you got MDF stuff. Should probably clean this with. A rag. The, the other thing with MDF kits is I'll usually wipe the MDF before I start building it, but because it had the the covering on, I've kind of skipped that step. But I'm realizing that there were sides that were still exposed, mm. so I feel like I've done badly there. Um, that doesn't work too badly. I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to leave it within the frame just to make sure it's lined up properly. I'm not going to stick it in yet, though. That'll be the second part. All right, one of many down. I've gone very quiet and very focused because I keep messing up the super glue bits. <laughs> You'll see it on the camera. And Joe's watching me. I know he's. I can see him tutting, shaking his head. He is a hobby expert. Look at that. All right. I've, it's well, proper fancy, I've, isn't it? Am I allowed to say that? I'm starting to really like these kits. These are these are kind of. That's beautiful. They're a bit like uh, model railway stuff, yes. but at a bigger scale. I've made a bad decision. Uh, I was all careful with the fancy glue for the windows, which line up beautifully, and then I, I got lazy and decided I'd stick them in with super glue. Is that inside or outside? Uh, this would be the outside. Oh, it's fine. It, it, it's an opportunity for weathering. Yeah. But yeah, Happy not great. Accident. So now that's stuck to my finger. I'll have to trim that off at some point. Oh well. If you want to focus over here, I'm doing really well. Okay. Apart from that, uh, so I'm using the frame to help me hold it in shape, so because obviously it slots in and out. That way I'm going to get no funky angles. I haven't currently, or as of yet, stripped paint off of, off of one of the things, but the day ain't over yet. You've not lived. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're about an hour into the build now. Holy yours, moly. Yours is looking quite impressive. It's starting to look like a house. It's um, an hour already. That's yeah. been flying by, which it, is, means we're having fun. It does mean we're having fun. You've made more progress than me. However, I am quite proud of the little windows that I've got in here. Um, I'm less proud of these ones and the bits of paint stuck onto my fingers. Um, I would definitely recommend using PVA or specialist glue for these. I did for fixing the glass panes, but then I, I shortcutted it a bit with this and it didn't really work. So I feel like I'm doing okay, um, but not a lot of progress. I have got I have got my base. That's all glued down. Though. So onwards, I guess, and we'll see where we get to next. Onwards.
All right. I feel like I've caught up a little bit, Callum. I think you have, to be honest. We're about another 15 minutes in. It's one hour 15. And we've both got much of a ground story done. Yeah, I would say so. Yours is quite exciting. I really look like the the ability to yeah, look into it. That's very cool. The... Um, and obviously both of them can come apart, which leaves you with your ruins. Uh, you've done a bit more cladding on yours. I've still got that to do. I've got the upper bits on, yeah. But yeah, starting to get on, feeling good, so. I'm feeling nervous, you're catching up. Uh, it's not a competition, it's a race. <laughs> Onwards. Let's go. All right, so I'm, I'm adding this detail and it's important to make sure the darker bit is at the bottom going up because then you've got your kind of groundwork matching and there's thicker ones and thinner ones. So just doing this cladding, which is quite time consuming and fiddly, but I'm using the super glue as a quick fix. And I already have no fingerprints right now, so that's fun. I am currently butchering my audio. It's not working. What are you doing? I'm trying to get Why? these out. <laughs> I'm just hitting it. <laughs> I think we've got a ball socket hammer. Right, so mine have actually, I've got a really green one here, but then they transition to pure white. As you can see, we've got slight gradient here. So I'm not sure which ones I want to use yet. I've got to do this for under the window here, the window sill. Probably going to go pure white up here because I think it'll contrast with the brick nicely. So I'm on that now. Just got to tidy up the edges a little bit, but be careful because they are painted. You don't want to scrape too much off. So I'm now onto the upper row, and it's a similar concept, but I've decided I'm going to flip it so the darker bit is up the other way because there's a slight ridge by the looks of things that comes out across. So that will then be casting shadow down on it. So they're going up that way. And I've got glue even more all over my fingers now. So we've, we've progressed a bit and I'm actually really happy with my progress. You are speeding ahead I've, here. I've got this la layer done. I haven't, oh, it's fixed on. I haven't done the windows because I figured I can do them at the finish. Ooh. So I'm gonna save them till the end and punish myself for I hadn't that. noticed that. I did, however, just notice that you've got your second story on but you have made a slight mishap. I have a floor, Callum has no floor. Callum has a floor. Um, the instructions yeah. actually, when I was doing it, I, I almost missed it myself. It, it doesn't seem very clear. It's quite subtle, but I've built a lot of kits and I was like, there's gotta be a floor in there. A lot of mine have been old Warhammer ones where there's not really a floor at all. It's sure. just kind of a corner. So I'm gonna have to break one of these apart. That you might have like to break two actually, but hopefully it'll be all right. Just, we'll be, just be gentle. But um, I'm really impressed with how it's coming together. It's looking great. Uh, yours is looking good too. Thanks. Uh, all the little joins are hidden so far. It's very Some clever. Some slight bits just here. I wonder if they'll cover them up or if they'll be left. I wonder, because yours is quite a pale yes. on the exterior, whereas mine, obviously, is brickwork. You're know, probably not going to see it as much. Really good cladding all around. It's I'm, beautiful. I'm isn't dead it? impressed. That with the external like pillars, that's awesome. It's great, isn't it? All right, so we're, we're clearly enjoying ourselves here, but we'll get on. All right, so I've reached an interesting point now in that I've got this story done and I'm considering the next story, but there are some sort of considerations here. For one, at first I thought these went back to back, but they don't. They go here to make the interior and then these butt onto the outsides. But this one's got the restaurant sign on, so I need to make sure this goes on either this side or this side, which I'll check with the kit. Um, and then I need to make sure these stairs on the thing line up probably that way. So that might be on there. But yeah, these are things you want to pay attention to when you're doing the build to make sure all these things are oriented in the right direction. Because you don't really want, necessarily want stairs on top of each other because that would kind of be impossible. So you need to plan and hopefully the kit will have accounted for that.
So we're going to stop here because it's getting late. We We've have been to. We've been doing this for so long. We have to go home. Yeah. Well, I have to go into the box, but you have to go home. <laughs> yeah, Callum needs to be put in his box. It's I need to go to the train station to yeah. get home. Um, We've had good progress. I th you've had great progress. <laughs> I really sped up. As time went on, I, I think not. I found my feet. Once I got past these windows, I have cheated though. I've not, I've you not put, it. it's been, I've not put any of these out. windows. So these are all scattered Ready here. Do. That's my job for tomorrow. Yours is looking good though. I've, I've, the, I don't have to go back for anything, but I just, you know, I haven't got a roof for anything yet. Sure. But so it's getting there. So I've, I've made a few mistakes along the way. You'll see it. You'll see me cursing. Well, you won't. You'll see me shaking my fist perhaps, but. It's been a, a learning curve. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the thing that I can say right now is these are looking great. They are awesome. Yeah, I'm very into it. So I'm excited to finish it. And Me get, too. Get it on the table, maybe put some figures around it. We could put your new panzer layer around it. I think that would be great. So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, but in video world right now. Right now. To finish these off. Let's go. All right, Callum, we're done. We are done, James. We are. It took us about two hours. I think so. And we finished almost exactly the same time. Mm, very, very close. Yeah. Cal all right, Callum got the edge on me. He managed to... I got four pieces worth Four ahead. pieces left for, over from another For the kit. size of the kit, I think I did excellently. You did well. <laughs> um, I think the important thing is in two hours, we've made some really, really tabletop ready, They're great looking terrain. awesome. I'm really happy with these. Yeah. And modular. Yes. Lots of bits come off. Um, very very detailed so yeah any problems with your build uh i had a few mistakes which were my own making uh as, as i was going through right i i also i have an error where i've put i think this row of windows is meant to be here and this row of windows is meant to be here if you do it as per the instructions mm -hmm. i don't think it's messed up too no much. i think it still looks lovely uh, but that one's on me there is however another one where the the picture of the building here and what the instructions tell you results in a different thing this cladding here they're up top not below is up top whereas on the picture it's down below i'm not sure if that again makes much of a difference but it does illustrate that the instructions are not the best they, they could are, be they're a little unclear at times a lot of my mistakes because i'm not an experienced mdf builder i think i followed the instructions and it wasn't it, it didn't show you where to put the floral you know yes yeah if you were doing a standard mdf kit it would be stage one put these bits together stage two yeah. such and such and it doesn't give you that. I I think they look great though. I mean, what what do you think of the finish? So I've really enjoyed the uh, the interior finish. is great. You've got some wallpaper in. Uh, a really great feature is that you can just do that and then have bond yeah. out. Uh, you know, ruins at the end. And the texture on that, like the effects of the walls and things, that would take a good while to. It do would take yourself. you ages for the amount of color variation you've got and just the texture itself. It's really nice if you want a quick tabletop ready uh, yeah. board essentially. I think it's I think it's got some good stuff, and I, yeah. I like the different looks in the materials as well. Yep. So um, I really enjoyed building these. We don't always get to do stuff like this in the office. We actually have to do proper work we sometimes. Have to do proper work. But it was nice to build these, and we've not really done the time lapse thing before, have we? No. Uh, if you did, did enjoy it, uh, make sure you hit like and let us know in the comments if you'd like yeah. to see more of this kind of thing, because it was really really fun for us to get to do. I'd be happy to do more of this kind of thing. Please let us do yeah, more yeah. of this thing. Um, <laughs> if you're more into the painting than the terrain building side, you can see some of Callum's figures around these buildings right now. There's some War Games Atlantic Panzerlair that he did recently, and we've got a painting video up for them. Uh, we'll probably do some future videos once you've done a bit more for your force because you're building them as a bolt action army. Absolutely, we're going to expand that. Uh, so we'll have that. We've got unboxings. We've got flip throughs. We've got all kinds of stuff. So if you want to see more of that, make sure you subscribe. If you ring the bell, you'll get alerts whenever a new video goes up. And who knows what's next? Certainly not me. But we'll see you in the next one. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club.
View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.